goodness! So much junk! What's up everybody? My name is Russ and uh, I'm with rwgresearch.com also open-source-energy.org uh, Today this video is going to be about the update. This is an update video I promised some people about the popper kit. Um, this video might be slightly drawn out and uh, it's because I want to go through all the details. I'm going to try to remember everything I have to say to you because I have a lot to say. And if you want to be involved, uh, updated on the uh, popper kit, this is the video to watch. Uh, not just the kit, but in general, everything that's going on. Um, I will start really quickly by saying for those of you um, concerned about Stan Myers research, that is still going on. I will be making a separate video that's probably going to be very drawn out, but I'm going to go through the whole thing and explain all the things that I'm working on have done and where we sit on that project, okay? So I'm still working on that. Don't worry, guys. Oh, sorry about that, guys. My video camera was full. I had to start it over. But what I was saying was I will be doing some EPG testing shortly when I get on the next uh, live show because that's about the only real time I have and actually can do, like, full-blown experiments uh, in my outside lab. All right? So back to the popper kit. Uh, I got a lot to say today. I'm sure I'm going to do my best here. I'm trying to do my best. Um, so, back to the beginning. Popper kits. Alright. Um, the first thing I want to mention is now that I have more information on the Roners, um, their involvement, and how everything is kind of set up. I don't know any details, but I can tell you what I know. Um, basically, John Roner is with Intelligentry and the uh, Plasma, Plasma era uh, ERG, or whatever it is, uh, Intelligentry, that's fine. And then you have Bob Rohner and Tom Rohner that were working isolated separately. Um, and, and Tom passed away, I guess this was in that situation. When Tom passed away, then the Rohner brothers, I guess, split. Might have that story slightly messed up, sorry guys. But nonetheless, there's two individual brothers working on the same thing. I, uh, my goal is to take information that they're willing to share, collaborate it, and do my experiment, all right? I am for, you know, I shouldn't say for neither one of them. I'm not against any one of them. I'm for both of them, I guess. Um, so the, the thing is, is um, so far I'd have some kind of uh, email communication between both of them. And uh, basically, I'm just collaborating information. I'm trying to make this work. I hold against no one against no one for now. Um, first, we're going to talk about John. An intelligentry and this popper kit basically it's been intermittent and uh, he was going to give me some information but never did I did I never did receive it on where they're sitting um, supposedly they were going to have them out two weeks ago on Monday uh, then it was this last Tuesday and we're still waiting so kit or no kit the show must go on all right that's the deal um, as far as uh, Intelligentry side, that's where it stands. So I'm probably going to actually end up changing the name of these videos, and they're going to be something different. Um, something more like uh, Paps Engine Replication or something. All right, so I'm going to try to make this quicker because I'm running out of time already. These long videos take days to upload. Um, all right, so Bob Rohner has demonstrated some stuff, and uh, just today he posted a video. Um, today is the 29th uh, of August, 2012, I believe. And uh, he, he showed a video today, and uh, he did mention Tin Man in there, and Tin Man and him both kind of apologized, but he didn't want to edit the video because that was the problem with the first video he posted, so for everyone watches this, that watch that, those two are fine, don't worry about it, uh, but things happen on the internet, so it's a crazy place. But basically he demonstrated doing this under a lot of power and with the inert gases and showing that the process works. I truly believe that Bob has demonstrated um, a working device. That's my opinion. Um, as it is today, 29th of August, that's I, the way I feel. Now, I will tell Bob right up front right now that uh, I, I really hope you keep producing videos. Um, I, I really hope that you, you keep sharing information because you're the only person out there that has demonstrated anything on the internet that people can watch, view, and gather some information in their head on how to pursue it on their own. Now, I will be doing that and hopefully everybody will be able to replicate it because Everything I give as far as information is all going to be given out there. Um, so that's the deal with the brothers and how the things are set up. Again, I'm for or against no one. I'm here trying to do and prove something works. Um, so those are my thoughts. 
Now, as far as uh, what's going on, um, the first thing I'm going to do is interesting. Interestingly enough, I'm going to mention something. You guys are going to laugh, or uh, I'm not sure how you're going to react to this, but nonetheless, you can leave me a comment on it. Um, these gases are very hard to get a hold of for a personal use. Um, companies that I've been contacting don't care about the little guys. They want the big guys. They want to spend lots of money. And it's like, dude, I'm, I've got you like fifteen hundred dollars here. Why don't you take my money and give me the gas? And they don't want to do the little man. So I found a company, I'll give you more details later, but I did get the gases ordered. And uh, again, all this comes back to Mr. Pete, Echoes Pete, has donated funding for this project, and uh, it's costing a lot, and I don't know if he expected it to be this much, so what I'm going to do uh, involve money in this because I know you guys love that I am going to tell you guys who who any individuals that would like to donate money towards this particular project it's all separated it will go into this project you can do that on my website rwgresearch.com click on the donate button and uh, put a note on there to the uh, plasma pop engine okay something like that if you want to I'm just doing that because the the donation thing is out there I'm only doing that for people who would like to all right, so back to the, the research here. The cylinder, uh, it's 255 liters, all right, which is big, um, considering we were only looking at like two to three cubic feet. Um, back to what I was going to mention you earlier that I actually just kind of went around. This is what happens when I start talking. I was going to mention to you about the gases. Um, interestingly enough, um, Max Miller himself, Iron D Max, actually helped try to locate some gases for us, and actually he did do that. But they were teeny tiny quantities and they were quite expensive. But I did want to give my shout out to him. Um, you know, he's putting forth effort and uh, me and him would like to make a video on other things. So back to the research right now. So those of you guys who want to comment on that comment, that's going to be interesting. So thank you, um, Max, for, for, for throwing yourself out there and, and helping out. I appreciate it. Um, all right. So this cylinder that we got is 255 liters and it cost thirteen hundred and seventy eight dollars all right now two hundred and fifty five liters um, cylinder is probably something like this similar to the one that Bob has and I really don't know what size cylinder Bob has I, I, I don't know maybe he'll shoot me a message on here and tell me what size how many liters his container is but uh, he was talking about seventeen hundred dollars for his container if this is the same then it's a lot cheaper now the guy did tell me he gave me a pretty good price on it um, and, and that was because uh, we had a nice long conversation and um, he basically, you know, we talked about what was going on here and what I'm, we didn't talk about what I'm doing, but we did talk about um, being an independent researcher, trying to do this stuff the way I'm doing it. And he was uh, very grateful and, and um, it, was, it was a good experience with that guy. So, um, all right, back to the, the story here. Please do yourself a favor. Keep informed on watching the thread that I have posted for this information. Um, the second thing you need to do is read the patents, all right? Everybody keeps talking about John and Bob and blah, 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 the whole ordeal, which I don't even, the whole thing is messed up, and I hate the whole situation. I wish those guys were working together, but they're not. It's the way it is. It's life, so don't worry about it. Don't try to convince one or the other to do something because it's a waste of your effort. It is the way it is. Um, but I will tell you that uh, both of them are doing things that are in the patent. Um, what John states with the antenna and the RF and uh, the stronium is the material that they're using. Um, I couldn't remember last time, but stronium 38, I believe. Um, those two things are in the patents, okay? So that's what they're doing. That's what Intelligentry is doing is they're using that principle and a higher voltage, okay? Um, what Bob is doing is using uh, thorium, uh, rubidium, uh, red phosphorus, and then thorium in the two separate buckets that he's using. And those are admitting gamma radiation. There is a video somewhere online that somebody posted over at the forums. And what it was, was it was some plate of metal with a wire running across this plate. And I believe the grid of wires, um, oh, I think it was the plate. The plate was applied a very high voltage and the grid of wire was grounded and what happens is it was a it was a it was a, a detector for uh, I believe alpha radiation um, might have been gamma one of the two 
Uh, but this alpha radiation they keep talking about, it's really not harmful unless you eat it. It doesn't even penetrate your skin. A piece of paper will stop it. So this device isn't really like radioactive, um, except for maybe what happens in the reaction. We don't know. Anyway, this detector, um, basically, whenever you got photons close to it, I'm sorry, when the gamma radiation or the alpha radiation, one of the two, got close to it, it would create um, a spark across those two items because there was a high voltage potential and you could detect the radiation. All right. So interestingly enough, in the patents that Pap talks about, he was talking about using um, high voltage and thorium and basically running the gas through that area. And when the gas was at the right state, because he processed all his gas, when the gas was at the right state, it would create that ionization across there from the gamma radiation or the alpha radiation of the, the thorium. Um, so I'm going to get those mixed up. Sorry, I should just quit talking about it. But anyway, basically it's very interesting. And um, read the patents and you'll see that both of these guys um, are kind of using the same information to do what they're doing. Um, I haven't seen any demonstrations from John. John, if you watch this video, uh, it would be nice to have some information. Um, the thing that bothers me the most, um, the thing that bothers me the most is somewhere on here, it said they, oh, uh, well, it's, uh, maybe, maybe it's somewhere else. Anyway, um, it talked about being uh, shipped out within the 10 days after the Tesla Tech conference. Um, it bothers me that if you guys had a kit and you're ready to sell it and you took money in, then you should be able to sell it. Now, uh, should the, the people who bought the item should receive them. Now, I know you're doing your thing all weird and that's fine, but I'm just saying, like, show some information of what's going on. You, you have stated to me a few times the kind of an update, but it'd be nice to get a better update. Uh, respond to an email or something that I send you. Anyway, not dogging on you, I'm just saying, you know, get some information out there to us. We're waiting. Uh, but either way, like I said, show must go on. So, the gases. The syringes, thanks to Bob for informing me of what he's using for syringes and the septa, which is a little rubber grommet thing that you use to stick the needle in, and the needles. Um, he was kind enough to give me that information uh, and the fitting to put it together. Um, I've asked him a few other questions, but he hasn't responded. I don't blame him um, because, like I said, I, I am an open source researcher, so I'm giving the, the information away. And, uh, you know, he, he's got investors and he can't give me all the information. He's not going to do that. So, much respect to that. That's fine. You do what you got to do. Um, but anyway, that's the update. Um, I did do some demonstrations here with this uh, this here rodent coil and this bar. I, I, what I wanted to do is, if you go over to PESN, Sterling Allen has posted a story about this guy Wes who thinks that this all is magnetic induction and aluminum. And I don't think that's the case. Watch Bob's videos. Judge for yourself. Um, unless you do the experiments, don't call people a fraud. Um, unless, of course, my my thought on fraud, and now all you're going to watch it. I posted this in, in messages here and there, but my thought on fraud is if you show a device working, similar to what Bob has done, and you have it here and you're showing it and you're saying here it is, it works. Okay, you as a viewer has the opinion: uh, is it real or is it not? That's your opinion. You shouldn't stand up and call people a fraud unless you build it for yourself. Now, on the other hand, another guy over here. All right, John, for instance. I, you guys aren't going to like me picking you guys out. I'm sorry. i got to do it. Uh, John, for instance, has shown things being built, um, shown really fancy motors that he's building, shown all this kind of stuff, but we've never seen it actually work. All right? If that's a strategy of his, that's fine. But if you balance here, all right, if you got John here and Bob here, and you want to call somebody a fraud, if you want to, you know, the scale's kind of leaning over here towards John only because he hasn't shown a working device. Is that, does that mean it's fraud? Not at all. I don't know. Nobody's going to know until they show what they have. Hopefully in December 11th at the show in Florida, they show what they have. That'd be great. You know, then we can lean the scale. Well, actually, we can't lean the scale. You know, you could bring this side up. This side stays here because um, what Bob has shown, he shows what he does. Um, he, Bob mentioned in his last video, he shows what he does. He doesn't know what, what else to tell you. You can't convince everybody. And he also states that, you know, he can't show you anything more than he's got. You know, if you want to believe it, believe it. If not, that's that's your that's your deal. Um, me, I'm on the up in the air, like I said, on both, and um, 
I'm not going to get involved with the, uh, the the situation between those two. I'm here just to collect information, share information, prove or disprove something works. Okay, so end of story. What I want you to do though is read my shirt. Some of you caught this a long time ago, but some of you haven't. So there you go. Awesome. My sister got this for me. Thanks, sis. Uh, other than that, I'm going to try to keep this video no longer because these videos take hours to upload and I'm probably going to uh, downgrade the uh, quality on this because 8 gigabyte videos take like 3 days to upload. Peace and love to you all. I am Russ. I am with RWResearch.com and I'm doing my best. So do what you can. Get involved. Read. Download and save videos. Um, collect information for yourself so when the time comes it all disappears because I'm sure that will happen then you'll have all the information. That's why I give it to you because I want you to have it and I want you to keep it and I want you to use it and I want you to share it. Alright, so go now. Re-upload this video somewhere if you want. Alright, but again I'll be changing the name of this video to something else like pop, pap, uh, plasma engine uh, replication. Something like that. Peace and love. Have a good day.